James Webb Space Telescope has found an Earth-sized planet. Since its launch in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been focused on reconstructing the universe's history by discovering unknown stars and planets. James Webb Telescope has been quite successful in its mission of investigating the potential of life on new planets. Recently, the telescope discovered a potential habitable Earth-sized planet for the human race. How did James Webb come about the discovery of this Earth-like planet? What's so special about this planet that scientists believe could be the next Earth colony? Join us in this video to explore how the James Webb Space Telescope just discovered a habitable green planet. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, is the most sophisticated telescope exploring our universe. It is equipped with high-resolution and highly sensitive instruments that help it to view objects too old, distant, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope, its predecessor. The JWST uses infrared astronomy to conduct investigations across different fields of astronomy and cosmology. The telescope is tasked with the primary functions of observing the first stars and the formation of first galaxies and the detailed characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. Working in line with this mission, the JWST has been pivotal in discovering a few habitable exoplanets. You will see this as we move further in this video. WASP-96 is one star that is the talk of the town in the scientific community. It is a yellow dwarf star that has excited space enthusiasts because it holds the possibility of being habitable by humans. It is similar to our sun but differs by being cooler and older. This last bit of information came as a surprise to many scientists when they found out. It is located about 1,150 years away from our planet in the southern constellation called Phoenix. The main sequence star is known for hosting at least one exoplanet. The most popular one is WASP-96b. We didn't know about this star until 2013, when it was discovered by wide-angle search for planets, WASP. WASP is an international consortium of many academic organizations that have come together to perform an ultra-wide-angle search for exoplanets using transit photometry. WASP uses a collection of robotic telescopes to survey the length and breadth of the sky. Simultaneously, the telescopes monitor thousands of stars at an apparent visual magnitude from about 7 to 13. The program has two continuously operating robotic observatories that cover the northern and southern hemispheres. The first, Super Wasp North, can be found at Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma in the Canaries. The other is Wasp South at the South African Astronomical Observatory, South Africa. WASP comprises the Isaac Newton Group, IAC, and six universities from the United Kingdom. WASP observatories employ high-tech instruments for follow-up characterization. By using Doppler spectroscopy, WASP has been able to determine exoplanets' mass. Each observatory of the program has an array of 8 Canon 200mm f1.8 lenses. WASP's telescopes are mounted on an equatorial telescope mount built by Optical Mechanics Inc. The Canon lenses come with a large field of view, giving each observatory a massive sky coverage of 490 square degrees per pointing. The observatories operate by continuously monitoring the sky and taking images approximately once per minute. The observatories gather up to 100 gigabytes of data per night. These observatories use the transit method to measure the brightness of each star in each image. Furthermore, small dips in brightness caused by large planets passing in front of their parent stars can be searched for. One of the notable exoplanet candidates of WASP that has been identified as holding the possibility of being habitable is WASP-96b. The gas giant exoplanet has a mass of 0.48 times the mass of Jupiter. It is situated at 0.0453 astronomical units away from its star, WASP-96. From the data obtained from the WASP observatories, we know that this exoplanet orbits its star every 3.4 days. It is about 1,120 light years away from us. The scientific community learned of the existence of this planet in October 2013. The James Webb Space Telescope has studied the planet, and from what the JWST tells us, water can be found within this planet's atmosphere. It doesn't stop here. James Webb also discovered evidence of clouds and hazes in WASP-96b's atmosphere. 
This discovery came as a shock to NASA and the rest of the astronomical community. This is because this planet was initially thought to be free of clouds. I guess we have to thank the high precision cameras of the JWST for changing this narrative. The distance from which the WASP 96b orbits its star is just one ninth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. The discovery of water in WASP 96b means that exoplanet enthusiasts have been right all along. There is a possibility that we could have Earth 2.0 in one of these exoplanets. Beyond the excitement that comes with this discovery, scientists have been forced to ask an important question. How can water be found in a very hot planet as WASP 96b? To answer this question, we must go back to evaluate the history and chemistry of this amazing planet. WASP 96b belongs to a family of hot Jupiters, which are gas giants known to orbit very close to their stars. From what scientists have observed over the years, these planets are believed to have formed further outward in their planetary system. At this position, water seems to be abundant. Then, the planets migrated inward due to gravitational interactions with other planets or their stars. The effect of mining close to their stars is that they experienced intense heating and tidal force that inflated their atmosphere and allotted their chemical composition. The presence of water in the WASP 96b atmosphere has made scientists hypothesize that it retains some of its original icy material during its migration. Another notable member of the WASP family of exoplanets is WASP 76b. Classified as a hot Jupiter planet, WASP 76b can be found in the constellation Pisces and orbits its host star, WASP 76, within 1.8 days. The exoplanet is positioned at a distance of 0.033 astronomical units away from its star. WASP-76b is far bigger than our planet because its mass is about 0.92 times that of Jupiter. Although it is not an Earth-sized exoplanet, our descendants could one day live on this planet. Discovered on October 21, 2013, WASP-76b is the only known planet in its system and has an estimated equilibrium temperature of 2,190 Kelvin. Most of what we know about this planet was obtained from data obtained by the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes. From investigations, it was discovered that there is evidence of titanium oxide and a small amount of water in the planet's atmosphere. When astronomers use higher resolution spectra to observe the exoplanet, they found that ionized elements such as lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, manganese, and iron were present in this atmosphere. Further investigations revealed the presence of barium in 2022. In describing WASP-76b, scientists say it is cloudy, predominantly gray, and exhibits thermal incandescence. WASP is not the only successful space program that has helped uncover exoplanets on our planet. Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, is another remarkable space program managed by NASA that has been pivotal in searching and studying previously known exoplanets. TESS is a space telescope that searches out exoplanets using the transit method in an area 400 times larger than that covered by the famous Kepler mission. Launched on April 18, 2018, TESS was designed to detect about 1,250 transiting exoplanets orbiting targeted stars. TESS was launched atop a Falcon 9 launch vehicle. Its first light image was taken on August 17, 2018. TESS makes use of an array of wide-field cameras to perform a survey of 85% of the sky. It is equipped with four wide-angle telescopes and associated charge-coupled devices CCD, detectors. The telescope operates by transmitting observed data to the Earth every two weeks. The development of TESS has made it possible for us to study the mass, size, density, and orbit of a large group of small planets. This also includes a small sample of rocky planets in the habitable zones of their host stars. Furthermore, we can say that TESS helps to make the work of the JWST easier. This is because it provides prime targets for further characterization by the James Webb Telescope. Unlike the Kepler telescope and ground-based telescopes that have mainly detected large exoplanets, TESS has helped us uncover planets around distant stars that are too faint for characterization. As of November 2022, TESS had identified 5,969 candidate exoplanets, of which only 268 had been confirmed, and 1,720 had been dismissed as false positives. LHS 475b is among the exclusive list of confirmed exoplanets. 
LHS-475b exists within the system of the Red Dwarf Star LHS-475. Situated 40.7 light-years away from the solar system, LHS-475 can be found in the constellation of Octans. LHS-475's only known exoplanet was initially found in the transit data from tests before the NARSPEC instrument of the JEST confirmed it. One reason LHS-475b has held the attention of scientists is because it is close in size to the Earth, at 99% of its diameter. However, a disparity occurs in temperature because it is much hotter than our planet. A visit to the exoplanet would find one experiencing an equilibrium temperature of 586 Kelvin. Scientists say that if we were to assume that this planet has little to no atmosphere, its dayside temperature would be estimated at 748 Kelvin. Unlike most confirmed exoplanets, LHS 475b has a very short orbit around its star. It completes an orbit within two days, and we suspect this planet is tidally locked. This means that only one side of the planet faces its star, basked in permanent daylight, while the other side is covered in pitch darkness. LHS 475b holds a special place in the history of the James Webb Space Telescope. This is because it is the first extrasolar planet to be confirmed by the JWST. More so, regarding radius, it is very similar to Mother Earth. A look at the data obtained from the Webb Telescope shows that LHS 475b is a rocky world. On the first look at this planet, scientists were astonished by its unique atmospheric spectrum. Another surprising thing about this exoplanet is that it lies closer to its star than any other planet in the solar system. LHS 475b was observed by JWST using two transits of the exoplanet. Each transit lies 4.1 hour, providing James Webb 2.1 hour of observation. Thanks to NASA for creating the JWST because it is the only known telescope scalable for observing and characterizing the atmospheres of Earth-sized exoplanets. After studying LHS 475b's transmission spectrum, the Webb telescope found out the composition of the planet's atmosphere. Although the data is still being processed and the results are yet to be out, we now know what is not inside the planet. From the data obtained so far, scientists hypothesize that the atmosphere is filled purely with carbon dioxide. Thus, we need more precise measurements to differentiate a pure carbon dioxide atmosphere from a no-carbon dioxide atmosphere. Furthermore, the Webb telescope has made us know that this planet is a few degrees warmer than our planet. This fact is proof that we should explore the planet better because it shows promise of being a habitable colony for the human race. If scientists were to discover clouds on this planet, then we would be forced to conclude that it is more like Venus, which had a carbon dioxide atmosphere. With more observation data expected to be presented in the coming days, we will finally be able to confirm some of these hypotheses. The first discovered Earth-sized exoplanet reported by TESS is HD 21749b. The discovery was announced on April 15, 2019. HD 21749b orbits the orange main sequence star HD 21749. The star can be found in the constellation of the Reticulum and has an apparent visual magnitude of 8.143. This can be interpreted to mean that the star is too dim to be seen with the naked eye. Credit should be given to Tess for letting us know that this star has 10 exoplanets. The first HG 21749b has been described as a possibly rocky, hot sub-Neptune-sized exoplanet, while the latter HD 21749c is referred to as an Earth-sized exoplanet. HD 21749c orbits the star at a distance of 0.08 astronomical units and completes the orbit within 7.8 days. Scientists have described it as a terrestrial planet. Although its mass is too small to be calculated using the current radial velocity data, scientists have provided an estimated value of between 1 and 2 times the Earth's mass. It is 1.1 times the radius of the Earth and is often referred to as the inner planet. Its star HD 21749 is smaller and cooler than the Sun and has a mass that is 0.73 times the mass of the Earth and an effective temperature of 4,640 Kelvin. From the data provided by the TESS telescope, astronomers say that the metallicity of HD 21749 is approximately the same as the Sun's. TESS has not only discovered Earth-sized exoplanets, 
it has also uncovered larger habitable planets. TOI 700D belongs to this group, and it is a near-Earth-sized exoplanet believed to be a rocky world that is orbiting within the habitable zone of the red dwarf star TOI 700. Located about 101.4 light-years away from the Earth, in the constellation of Dorado, TOI 700 is the outermost planet within the system. TOI 700D has the honor of being the first Earth-sized exoplanet in the habitable zone to be discovered by TESS. It can be found orbiting its star at a distance of 0.163 astronomical units and completes its orbital period within 37.4 days. The exoplanet's radius is 1.19 times the radius of the Earth. Based on the analyzed data from the TESS telescope, we found out that this planet receives about 86% of the energy that the Earth receives from the Sun. Ever since the planet's discovery in January 2020, scientists have kept uncovering new facts about this planet by studying observed data. Nevertheless, there are still a couple of things that we don't know about this planet. For instance, its mass is yet to be measured. However, it has been predicted to be around 1.72 times the mass of the Earth. Based on the assumption that it has an Earth-like atmosphere, the average temperature of this planet has been put at about 268.8 Kelvin. However, there is a little problem. There is a small chance that a runaway greenhouse effect exists on the planet. This is why we need to explore this planet further. In this case, the highly sophisticated instruments of the James Webb Telescope would be well suited for the job. Speaking of Earth-sized exoplanets, April 17, 2014 is one day that won't be forgotten in a hurry by the astronomical community. That was the day Kepler 186F was discovered. We owe the discovery of this green exoplanet to the Kepler spacecraft. The exoplanet belongs to the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Kepler 186. It is situated about 580 light years away from our planet in the constellation of Cygnus. Kepler 186F can be seen orbiting its star at a distance of about 0.43 astronomical units and completes its orbital period within 130 days. The exoplanet's mass is about 1.44 times that of the Earth, while its radius is around 1.17 times the Earth's radius. It is top among the list of exoplanets that show potential for life as we know it. Kepler 186f was the first planet with a radius similar to the Earth's that was discovered within the habitable zone of another star. The planet's existence was uncovered by the Kepler telescope using the transit method. The planet star Kepler 186 has five known planets and an apparent magnitude of 14.62. This means that it is too dim to be seen by the naked eye, which is limited to objects with a magnitude of at least 7 and below. The star has a temperature of about 3,755 Kelvin and is about 4 billion years old. Thus, this makes it 600 million years younger than the Sun. This planet is too far away to be properly studied by the Webb telescope. Nevertheless, the development of more sophisticated telescopes than the JWST will help us learn more about this planet and determine its level of habitability. Still, in line with toothing the horns of the JWST, the telescope confirmed a spectacular discovery of K218b in 2023. K218b is an exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf star K218, and it is located 124 light-years away from the Earth. The Kepler Space Telescope initially discovered the planet in 2015. However, it was the Webb telescope that detected the presence of carbon dioxide and methane in the exoplanet's atmosphere. The data provided by the James Webb hints at the possibility of the planet being covered in ocean and having a hydrogen-rich temperature. When this is finally confirmed to be true, then we will have a new Earth colony in our palms. K218b orbits its star within 33 days. The planet, which is about eight times the mass of Earth, is found within the star's habitable zone. Thus, it receives the same amount of starlight as the Earth receives from the Sun. Also, it could have similar conditions as the Earth, which will allow the existence of liquid water. K218b is also referred to as mini-Neptune and possibly has a hydrogen-rich envelope. Scientists predict that it could either be a rocky planet with a thick envelope or have a Neptune-like composition. Hopefully, we find out which of these is true in the coming days. Furthermore, we know that this planet is likely tidally locked and has an equilibrium temperature of about 250 Kelvin. 
However, astronomers say that tidal heating is unlikely, and from the observations from the Hubble Space Telescope, water makes up between 0.7 and 1.6% of the atmosphere. The planet's atmosphere seems to consist of hydrogen, while ammonia concentrations appear to be unmeasurably low. K218b has been used as a test case for exoplanet studies, and with time, we learn more about how high the potential of life on this planet is. Hopefully, we don't have to wait for too long before we get an answer so we can start planning to make this planet more habitable ahead of our arrival. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.